Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Anthony Griffin, Kim Matheson Associates, uh, Allen Tate Greensboro, North Carolina. And I wanted to follow up with the video that we had done last time, uh, which we were talking about people involved once you are under contract. Uh, so this is just gonna be the first part of the breakdown. We're just gonna be talking about buyer and buyer agent, loan officer and the appraiser. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about uh, the home inspector, title company and closing attorneys. So we'll hit that in a, in a little bit, but I wanted to start off with first your buyer and or your buyer agent. So this is gonna be mainly determined by uh, the type of transaction you're doing and who's actually uh, involved in the purchase. So in most cases, most buyers will be having an agent who's associated with them, who's going to be kind of their uh, liaison and um, middleman throughout the transaction process. So they're going to be the ones reaching out uh, regarding any inspections. They're going to be the ones reaching out regarding setting up an appraisal, uh, setting up a closing attorney because it does fall in the buyer's responsibility to choose the closing attorney, uh, as well as letting you know where they stand in the process if it happens to be a loan. Uh, and once you get the final clear to close to set up the, uh, the, the sale and the purchase. So that's mainly the purpose of the buyer's agent. Keep in mind though that the buyer's agent uh, is responsible for the buyer. So they're always gonna be looking out for their best interests. So you do sometimes need to be careful about what you're saying, how you say it, um, and you're gonna definitely want the majority of the conversations with the buyer's agent to go through your seller's agent if you happen to be represented by one. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. Next up, you've got your loan officer. Uh, this could be your mortgage lender. Uh, this could be a mortgage officer. They go by plenty of different titles depending on uh, what lender you choose. But basically their goal and purpose is to make sure that they collect all necessary documents uh, in order to get you from the process of starting the loan application to actually getting funding for the loan so you can close on the house that, that you want. Um, so the loan officer is also who's going to be responsible for requesting the appraisal. And that brings us to the very last party that we're going to be talking about today, the appraiser. So the appraiser plays a lot of different roles uh, in the transaction. And one of the reasons why they are so important is because there are quite a few different types of appraisals. You've got your general appraisal, which is for conventional loans, uh, but you can also have an appraisal that's done for a government backed loan, such as a USDA, FHA or VA loan. Those are a bit more invasive and do come with a few additional stipulations. So, Keep in mind an appraisal, what that is is a snapshot of the value of the home based off of today's current market. Uh, so a lot of folks may wonder what kind of uh, comparable properties are used in an appraisal. They're actually going to be closed properties, usually within a half a mile, uh, within three to six months of the contract date of your home. So what that means is you may have quite a few other homes in the area that are in various stages of the transaction. Maybe they just went on the market or they're under contract too, uh, but they haven't closed. So because they haven't closed and actually sold the home, they're not going to be looked at as a true comparable yet uh, because there's not an actual figure to go off of. Uh, keep in mind, listing price is just that. It's a suggestion of what you would like to see as a seller, but not necessarily what you go under contract for and not necessarily what the house is going to close for. So that's why it's so important to find out what homes are going to be used as a comparable because the appraiser plays a vital role in making sure that anybody who's looking to get a loan and get financing for a purchase can actually afford the home. They're going to be the ones who are telling the bank whether or not it makes good financial sense to invest 100, 150, 200, 300, 400 thousand dollars into a home in a certain area uh, to tell them if the home's going to either maintain or grow value or if it doesn't make financial sense for them to give out that loan. And that's the purpose of the appraisal, uh, to make sure that the bank is not getting in over its head and in turn, making sure that the buyer's not getting in over their head. So that's the purpose of the appraisal throughout the process. 
In the next video, we're going to be talking a little bit more uh, with regards to inspections and inspectors, uh, talking about title officers, and talking about the closing attorney. We're also going to be changing things up a little bit. You might not see the whiteboard. Uh, I'm going to look to see if we can throw in some additional graphics and things along those lines. So be on the lookout for the next video. I hope to hear from you next time, hope to see you next time, and I look forward to seeing you again. Have a good day.